Katie Riley is enjoying the near picture-perfect day at Lake Murray with her son. But this young mother knows you can never be too safe in man-made waters. Keep him up, you know, towards the shore. If he starts getting out where it looks like he's getting too deep or it could possibly drop off, I just tell him to come on back towards me. Riley says when soaking up the sun, she's always prepared with life jackets and is aware of her surroundings. While her five-year-old son is already swimming, this mom is keeping a watchful eye on the water. Definitely not to go out by himself. Go out with a group of people, make sure everybody knows how to swim. Um, make sure that you have um, the safety equipment that you need, life jackets. Wear a personal flotation device anytime you're swimming, uh, just like if you're in a boat. Uh, you know, those things will save your life. Lance Corporal Stephen Johnson with the Department of Natural Resources says there isn't many rules for swimmers on the lake, but he points out public boat ramps don't allow swimming near them, and certain areas of the lake have buoys that designate it's a safe swimming area. Johnson says in open waters, swimmers need to keep an extra eye out for boats. It's hard to see a swimmer in the water. Uh, if they have a personal flotation device on, especially a, a bright colored one, uh, that would help uh, other boats see it. For these parents at Lake Murray Monday, safety is their top priority. Once it goes from rocks to kind of sand, soft sand, I just that's where I draw the line. If, there, if the water comes up above the waist, we don't know good. We both put on life jackets, even me, because when boats come up and it gets you know, rocky out there, you want to make sure that you're safe. Parents making sure they teach their children how to be safe while having a fun day in the sun. <laughs> At Lake Murray, Rob Starkey, Watch Fox News.